up fellow YouTubers, so Dude Gecko 30 here, and I am back playing Legacy of King Defiance, guys. So in the last episode, we managed to progress more through the story of Raziel's, and so far things have been pretty difficult being back in the physical world for him. But now we gotta look for it. pretty much right now we're looking for the other reavers of light and darkness. So hopefully we can find them guys and progress further.
Perhaps in the spectral realm, this would no longer prove an obstacle. Oh. Okay, let's try. Well, that worked. <laughs> I wish I would have thought of that. Sorcery transported me away. This was the ancient ruin of a vampire civilization. Perhaps here I would finally decipher the riddle of my destiny. Throughout these ruins, I found murals depicting the seminal events of vampire history. These scenes commemorated a great war between the ancient vampires and their rivals. In triumph, they banished their adversaries from the world and raise the pillars as the lock that binds them. The image of the Reaver was inscribed throughout this place, always depicted with reverence. The vampire's holy weapon was destined to be borne by their prophesied hero, for whom it was forged. But if this was my destiny, why had the Reaver tried to consume me? Not everything is as it seems, Raziel. <laughs> This scene depicted the appointment of the original vampire guardians, each summoned to serve when the pillars were raised. Each guardian is aligned to the principle of the pillar he serves, and the balance guardian is the axis of them all. Guess I'm gonna have to go into the spectral realm. Here we go.
At last it was done. The reaver was forged with darkness. As I felt this new power coursing within the wraith blade, I knew that now the light temple would open to me. Now that we got the light dark one. Gargoyles there, huh?
There we go. Now let's enter the spectrum. Against all odds, I had stumbled into Kane's own mausoleum. This seemed an unlikely coincidence.
faceted orb. <laughs> cool. Dark Reaver. Material Reaver. Spectral Reaver. Oops, wrong button. I can share I'm not missing anything around here. No. Again, I experienced an odd sense of displacement as I was transported to the vampire ruin once more. But this chamber was different than the first. In their defeat, the vampire's enemy retaliated with a terrible curse, afflicting the vampires with a bloodthirst that turned their once noble race into ravenous predators. This curse plunged the vampires into despair and apparently drove many to madness and self-annihilation. What was it that so devastated them that they were driven to suicide? Great, we're gonna have to go into the spectral world again. I had succeeded. The Reaver was forged with the power of light, and now my way was clear. I would seek out Ariel at the Pillars and see if she could enlighten me. Ah! <laughs> 
needed to find the gate that would send me on my way. Alright guys, so we are going to stop it here for now. That will be all for this time. If y'all enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and comment and please subscribe. And I do hope to see y'all in the next episode, guys. See y'all later. Bye-bye, guys.